Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Play this Dark Urge Psychopath. So let's leave the camp. And what are we even supposed to do today? Hmm. I think we should find that cave for those chosen souls? No. How was it? Perfect soul? No. The absolute cultist told us about... What the hell, guys? What the hell? Hello? Please? Time to rest. No, everyone down, 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 down. Need to find a way forward. Yes, we know about this hidden door already. Um, I guess we're looking our way down beneath the bridge. Hmm, that was quick. I thought I saw a movement over there. Oh, I never took your staff. Wait, speaking, you're dead. A strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. Calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Hmm. Embrace the desire to commune with the tadpole. Will it to break free? No. Oops. Now you're mine. Hanging suspended in murky slime. The living tadpole looks like some hideous cousin to the slug. Only gorged and slick with remnants of brain fluid. But no, 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 no. I still didn't take your stuff. And you have lots of food. And a broken spear. But you have lots of food, which we will use since we are alive and you are not. Hmm? Wish I had a bag of holding. Yes, it could. It would be useful. I think it's here. Go in. Absolute. Protect us. Fine. Oh, Goblin. That stench. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. Give me a moment, I'll be right there with you. Shrine 
to see Luna in a grotto like this. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can Magical feel it. Aura. No luck picking that. Mm, medium toughness. Only hit that deals at least 22 damage can damage a day. Oh. oh, I forgot to cast my stuff. Mm, there's no reason for us to disguise ourselves. Where's my speaking with that stuff? I don't know. You. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What do you need? Intelligence. Defender of the people. And you don't cast anything. Okay. A dusty volume that speaks of the conflict between the sibling goddesses Solon and Shar, after Solon ignited the sun and brought life, sustaining light warmth to the universe. Now, do I need to, I need to use text walls here? Try to keep up. Sure. A prayer dedicated to Saloon, imploring all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessing and share her bounty. Oh, then. Wait, there's another one here. Can you throw it? Um, not improvised weapon. Ah, I'm trying to move it. I really am. Okay. An ancient tomb telling how Saloon came into being alone with her sister Shar. The silver radiant Saloon and the dark alluring Shar complemented each other and brought an orderly distinction between light and dark in the universe. Now, can any of you... Where did you drop it? Alive. So that's progress. That's not the thing. Get up. <laughs> Time to press ahead. Okay, I have no idea where that prior went. My injuries need tending. Sure they do. Let's get going. Hey. Wait, this is Salon Seal. Solid Solid 
I will save just in case I die. Nope. And I honestly don't remember how to open this one. <laughs> you feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. That's your best shot. Puff your chest and roar. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> the beast shrinks back, feathers quivering. I wanted to go up there. Wait, what? I really hoped you guys would be the ones... Excellent. ...killing it. There was 91% chance of success. I am disappointed. If your puff isn't up, just move. It's just a cub, come on. Okay, no, you're not hiding. Coming through. I may be a monster, but I'm not a monster that will hurt a little one to have you throw. Mm. <sighs> Please don't look. I seem, it seems I need to change the camera. On the victor's path. Oh. 
I was the only one that did not touch your child. Well, we're doing great. Oh, on the way. Go up there. Into the shadows. No holding back. Victory awaits. Yeah, sure. Are you serious? strike will end his suffering let him live you watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother which you can provide for the cub perhaps it'll live Mercy, of course. Still breathing, despite everything. Barely breathing. May I add? I have a confession. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. Can I assume a compliment is coming? I don't pay compliments. I only say what is true. You've proven me wrong at every turn. You are efficient, dominant, courageous. I swear. You would tear the horns off one dragon for plunging into another. You've gained my respect, and more still, my yearning. When I come near, your odor alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. I just washed, okay? <sighs> Wait, hold on. Are you coming on to me? Isn't it obvious? I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight, perhaps later, but I want it all the same. Do you? Yeah. 
Yes, I want to share my body with you. Yes, perhaps one night soon I will come to your bunk and take what is mine. Until that night comes, I shall keep enjoying your scent. We're in Lindra. Um, head of a broken spear. You might as well take all you had. Maybe I need more pockets. An owl bear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Could be medium armor. Is anything medium armor be you? The pride of the gate. Not proficient. Great. What now? But now, do you want to talk with us? We lost. Andrik, sir, he's with Edwin now, right? He's with the Absolute. Perhaps. Who truly knows the ways of our God? I suppose. I suppose the Absolute keeps our mysteries from us all. What would you have of me now, sir? Continue your duties in this area, whatever those are. Yes, that's what Edwin would say, and what Andric would have done too. Go safely, true soul. Sure. Breathe deep and what sword? Backpack. What's hiding here? More provisions. Is there a way out from here? That's curious. Ooh. Not a way out, but maybe some treasure. Or not. That could be, would have been useful before the fight. Alright, so... What do we have left to get out of here? That's for sure. Perhaps rest again. Since we are dying. Oh, well. Let's nothing. get out and we'll rest at the river. I'm gonna drown you all. Yes, here will be a perfect spot. We also have one coffin for you at the ready. <laughs> All right, rest. Yes. I'm so glad I found. Wait, it's me. It's Althea from the Grove. What are you doing out here? I'm sorry for barging in like this, but I had to come find you. You've, well, inspired me. I want to stand on my own two feet, to prove that I can be half the Bardley Harla was. I want to join you, to fight by your side. I want to help people, as you've helped me. Are you sure? I lead a dangerous life. I've been running since El Terrell. And when we finally arrived at the Grove, we found danger there too. Unless I hide away from the world, I can't avoid it. So I'd rather face it head on. With you. You may stay. For now. 
Let's see how you fare. Really? Oh, this is wonderful. Ease your worries. That warm your hands. We owe you that much. I won't let you down. I promise. <sighs> so. You are slipping over there at the river. No, oh, it doesn't fix so. 742-21 You open your eyes with a lurch and you are not in your bed You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition the body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. Try to remember something, anything. to you the flash of abject terror in her eyes blood spilling from her lips no time for last words investigate your surroundings look for explanation there are dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse the killer did not stop savaging it, even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really, that you could be guilty of such bitter business? Hmm. Admire this beautiful death. If you could craft a corpse like this in one night, what masterpieces have you sculpted in your forgotten decades? You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. Seek out the nearest water to wash the blood away. You scrub yourself until your hands are cold and warm. While your body starts to feel clean, the blood doesn't seem to leave. Examine the blood more closely. Is it magical? There is no magic binding this blood to your body, only guilt. You shake your head, and it seems to go away, only then. If you are fortunate, no soul will be able to know you were behind this murder. You wonder if your misdeed will be noticed. This is some sloppy work. You talk. I saw nothing. It is dangerous wandering around at night. 
You could bump into anything. Your guilt is safe. For now. As the Inquisition departs, you are left alone with a familiar headache. <laughs> that was close. You will hide your crime more carefully next time. Something revolts in your churning blood. Why hide what you are? You long to expose yourself. regards you lifelessly. Do you have any valuables? The Harless Lute. Where is where oh, never mind. Hm. Well let's leave. There's a long day before us. Another shield and more for me. Yep. And the neck. We need to gather as much food as we can. An empty mind flare vessel. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. Hmm. Well. Given our bad luck, we'll bump into them soon enough, and they will want to join our team. Move free. We do need to find a way into the Goblin Camp. Ooh. Broken gold. Oh. Well, we can sell those. That's yeah, fine. How are you? in Elson's Grove. Sucker punching strangers. That's your bit, right? I thought you were busy leading your crew. Not no more. The contract didn't mention no goblins. I would have prepped the lads, brought better weapons. So... <laughs> A few goblins killed your whole crew. Pathetic. Wasn't no few goblins, mate. There's an entire hive of them. Contract failed to mention that part. Looks like you were ill prepared. Don't know what I expected. That much gold for some long lost relic buried in the arse end of nowhere. And from a wizard, too. I should have known. The gold probably turns to lead the moment you leave Boulder's Gate. A stupid thing to die for. Mm. 
You're giving up? I might take a shot at myself. Have at it. If you think you can do better. Of course I can do better. The night song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. Thanks. I'll take it. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. I'm just glad to be rid of the bloody thing. Happy hunting. Thank you. Come on. We're wasting time. Ooh, nice stuff. Can go down here. Moonhaven. Moonhaven. Oh, but, but I didn't notice that earlier. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. Let's examine the body. seems to be fresh only a few hours dead examining the corpse you see two small puncture wounds in its neck and is it dead enough for you you know something about this don't you It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now, please. Let I don't know what's happening with the sound today. I'm not touching anything, I promise. The corpse regards you lifelessly. What happened to you? Back of North Claws. Makes sense. Why were you in the forest? Let this delivery to Baldur's Gate. Where did you keep the letters? In bank standard issue. Hmm. 
What's your profession? Runner. Fleet foot. Courier company. Where are you from? From Trail. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Hmm. I needed. For this thing, we will spill. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. What happened here? I told you to go. I'm not an enemy, I promise. Death in your scent, but not in your words. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. I don't think he's going to wake up. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. What's your name? He calls me Scratch. And you can do the same. What happened to your friend, exactly? We were attacked. We were cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell, it was strange, rotten, evil. Come on, you can travel with me if you like. No, I won't leave him. If he doesn't wake up, follow my scent. I have a cup. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. Can't give up now. No, back to our usual business. Very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I came here mainly for resources. And food. That leads back to the Albert Cave. Up here, up here, nothing. Where are you guys? this place oh small hole oh another bird's nest hmm only rotten eggs Come on. <laughs> Where was it? I don't know. Never mind then.
anything over here? Oh, it's time I keep hearing, okay. That makes sense. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to... Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We... We won't ask again. This has nothing to do with me. Goodbye. supposed to rush to my defense love fat lot of good you are <laughs> some advice you ever darken my door you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready bye bye now oh they are dead Corpse regards you lifelessly. Why did you accuse Ethel of taking Marina? Because what Marina wants, only Hag can give. Why are you so worried about your sister? Hags play with their food. <laughs> this place seems strange. Anything I should be wary of? Don't drink. We're in the middle of nowhere. Why come here? My sister went to Ethel. Husband died. Wants him. Wants him back. Hmm. Where from? Farm out by Baldur's Gate. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. I don't know what's that. Dear Joch and Demir, don't get mad. I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic into something stupid. I'm going to the Hag. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know he would do the same for me. I'll be back soon. So not a word to mom, right? She has enough on her plate. Okay, so it's not like you were assuming she went with the Hag. You knew she went with Ethel. Hag. Ethel the Hag. How did you plan on killing this hag? With pitchforks, stupid. How to? Um, we know. What drove your sister to leave? She's scared. She won't be a good mom, but she will. I know it. Is the food here safe to eat? Up 
spores. So red. So delicious, but... Oh. I've had enough. Oh, not worth Nice, so much food. Oh, we are very encumbered. Okay. Please work with me. No, we're fine. I thought it was someone standing here. Hey, and I think this is a fairly good place to end this part, since we are right before the swamp, so for now, thank you very much, stay alive, and see you soon. Bye!